Hello, everyone. It's Adam Lake, Aaron, Aaron. What I'm gonna do? Well, you saw like the. Uh, you'll probably by the time you watch this video, you've seen that little clip I put up with you know McMahon, Shane, Vince, Shane, Stas. That was supposed to be in this video, but then real life just wanted to be annoying. So I have to cut the camera and then I do some editing and then that's gonna be its own little then I made its own little segment and then I upload it. So this video will only be the review and the match. You know, Styles and Shane versus Owens and Zayn. So anywho, review time. We reached episode 200. So, cue the confetti, the streamers, the, I don't know, balloons. I would have them, but I didn't bring any, so. Real awkward. And I decided to celebrate this 200th episode occasion with a Michael Bay movie. Because who doesn't? Love Michael Bay movies, am I right? And decided to get one that is somewhat well how do I describe it. Well it is considered one of his best movies. It doesn't mean it's a good movie by most by the public's viewpoint. And it's also quite controversial because of what this movie is and the movie I'm talking about is pain and gain. Now this movie is based off of a true story that really happened in 1995. It involved murder, torture, and uh, robbery and stealing and all that stuff. And Michael Bay thought it would be the a brilliant idea to make it into a movie with his own vision. I, I guess so. This movie stars Mark Wahlberg, The Rock, and uh, Anthony Mackie, you know, Falcon from the MCU. So this movie has, uh, you know, a bit going for it. You have a nice cast. Uh, Michael Bay... While he hasn't made too many good movies, he tends to make more movies that are just... He tends to make a lot of movies that are just simply okay than really bad movies. So, at least he has that, I guess. So, let's read the back. Because it's clear from his, the writing of his movies, Michael Bay, is, his movies don't require any writing or reading no, 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 so I'm going to do that for you. It's Michael Bay's hilarious action comedy. That's the first problem. They turned this real life story of horrible things, murder, torture, all of that, into a comedy. I don't know about any of you, but... That, those two things, well, two subjects, two subjects do not match, and they should never match, unless this is a black comedy. That is the only way it will fly. But when it's, and also when it's fake, when it's fictional, when this thing really happened, you can't turn it into a comedy because that's quite distasteful to the victims of this and mainly because the families are still alive they're gonna find out about this movie and they're gonna be mad so hope you i hope you liked what you did michael bay because now everybody's talking so pain gain is good fellows on steroids get it because it's all about muscle, mass. Yeah, very great pun. 
It's when an ambitious group of personal trainers, Wahlberg, uh, Dwayne Johnson, and Anthony Mackie, decide to chase the American dream. They get caught up in criminal in, in a criminal enterprise that goes horribly wrong. Now living large, living large will take everything they've got. And the unbelievable true story that critics are calling hilarious. This is the second time we use hilarious. The more times you use it, the less funny the movie's gonna be. Hilarious. Smart. Clever and fresh. Yeah, that's. No. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, our main character is Mark Wahlberg. He works, I believe he works, at like a fitness joint. You know, like, he just, you know, he's like, you know, drinking his protein. And what, what did Hulk Hogan used to say? You know, you know, you know eat his vitamins, drink his milk, does all that. And he's kind of on hard times because he's feeling like, man, I don't want this for my life. He has a bunch of bills. And then, like, he's like, in a somewhat small little apartment. And, I mean, it's, it's one of those stories where, like, the main character, like, he's, he's not living so good. And he wants to be more, bigger. He wants to live better. Get money, get rich. So yeah, but then he meets this dude. He's played by uh, Tony Shalhoub, and like he's like one of those rich dudes, like those rich like dudes that you do not like. And you know, Wahlberg uh, sees him. And he's just like, I don't like that guy. I'm gonna steal his money. I'm going to steal all his assets, but how am I going to do that? Well, we get two friends. We get an Anthony Mackie, who also is at the gym. You know, that you know, Mark Wahlberg is also at. And uh, Anthony Mackie's character decides to take the easy route, the quick solution, steroids. Because this movie just has to have steroids in it. He uses them, you know, to get bigger, but unfortunately, it has some side effects I'm not going to tell you about, because if I do, this video will be non... This video is going to get flagged, so I'm not going to go into that. If you've seen the movie, you know what I'm talking about. And then he also gets The Rock, who actually plays against type in this movie. Usually The Rock's like... Big charismatic dude, you know, who has one liner, one liners and whatnot. That's how he is in most movies. Here he's very different. Because in this movie, like his character was almost like a cocaine addict, and then he got, uh, he was doing like a robbery. Then he got caught. Then he was in prison. Then he found the Lord. He found the Lord. He was saved, and so now he's. Live a, a sober life, you know, and he does all that, and then gets out of prison, you know, trying to readjust the life. So, yeah, it's a lot different than what The Rock usually plays, and I really like that. And so, Mark Wahlberg gets these two, and then they decide, let's take out Tony Shalhoub and the most ridiculous costumes you'll ever see. You got ninjas. One of them was a ninja, Anthony Mackie's Anthony Mackie's the ninja, and uh, a bunch of ninjas and like a green alien. It's real weird. That's Michael Bay humor for you. So they kidnap him, torture him. It's not very pleasant. Pretty much injure him badly. And uh, you know, you know they do their thing, and then they get his money. All of his assets, and they want to, you know, get rid of him. That's what you have to do in these movies. They said they thought they killed him, but nope, he's still alive. So he goes to Ed, you know, Ed Harris, you know, to help him out. 
and you know, you know, you know, you know, bring them the three in because they're criminals. But you know, when uh, Wahlberg, uh, The Rock, Matthew Mackey, they get all that money, they start going wild. Uh, the Rock goes back to cocaine. Uh, Mark Wahlberg, you know, gets like this big old house. Anthony Mackie you know, his girlfriend, Rebel Wilson. Yeah, that's a real weird combination. But, you know, he marries her, gets her all this stuff, this expensive stuff. They're all living a good life. It all comes crumbling down very slowly, but surely. Especially with The Rock. He, you know, starting. I believe he was trying to get a bag, then the bag just ended up being like a bunch of paint. Like a paint bag, you know, sp like, you know, explodes in people's faces. But then, like, the cops come after him, and so he tries to swim away, but then they shoot off his big toe, and that is... Can't imagine that... That's pleasant. That's clearly not pleasant. And so, more stuff happens. They're all eventually caught. The Rock uh, decides to spill the beans, and uh, The Rock, as like his character, actually got like a uh, only fifteen years in prison, which is not good. But Wahlberg and Anthony Mackie, they got life; they're gonna die in prison. So, not the greatest ending. And then the end, like they show like the real people. They were portraying, which I guess is a nice-ish touch, but again, it just further it further expands the problem. And the movie ends with Mark Wahlberg with his speech saying, "That's the American dream." So yeah, this movie's all about the American dream, muscles, steroids, murder, and it's a comedy, so. What do I think of this? Well, it's definitely one of Michael Bay's best movies, but that's not saying a whole lot. And, uh, the why it's better, mainly because one, it's not Transformers, and two, you know, the actors do a really good job in this movie. I mean, Mark Wahlberg is good. Uh, Anthony Mackie is good. Everybody's good. But The Rock stands out amongst all of them. For, like, his character. His character is probably the most, the best, the most likable character in the whole movie. The action is, well, Michael Bay action. The humor is Michael Bay worthy uh the story is just like it's real straightforward and you know yeah it's just a real straightforward story one dude who's not doing so good wants to be rich gets rich and then it all crumbles down except you know you add in awkward humor uh crude jokes murder torture illegal stuff and bam Pain game. <laughs> so, I don't know. I mean, I kind of like this movie, even though it did some... The fact that he did the movie in this way is kind of distasteful. I still enjoy it for what it is as a movie. So I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10. I know that's shocking. But I, I just, I don't know what it is. This movie, like, I saw it, like, a couple times. Man, like, Amazon Prime. Before I got on DVD, you know, for reviews. And I just, I just like it. I don't know why, I just do. But, yeah. Six out of ten. If you don't like Michael Bay, I don't think this is really gonna change your mind. But if you do like Michael Bay, go check it out. Match time. Ooh. Styles and Shane McMahon versus Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. This is a few that's actually happened in real life too. And it's it's terrible. 
in real life. Shane is like the centerpiece of everything. It's so bad. And now he wants to be the centerpiece in this thing too. I hope something happens. Because last thing I want is a McMahon being champ. We almost got that with Stephanie. Thankfully, Edge came out of nowhere and stole the belt. So we're going to get to that match right now. Alright. Face you two right now. You with me, Styles? Yeah, I'm with you. I don't know why you sound like that, but whatever. Let's fight. Sammy gotta get on the outside. Fine. Alright. Going down, Shane. Just like you did, uh, you know, a couple months ago. In the cell. That was mainly because of my best friend, Sammy Zane. So you're going down again. Just ring the bell. Ring a ding, ding, ding. Oh, Kevin. Oh, throwing Shane out right out the gate. Oh, splash or a splat, whatever. Oh, Kevin. Oh, falling right on Shane's back. Oh, bringing him down. Oh, man, Shane's getting zero offense. That's not good for Sh uh, Shane O'Mac. Oh, I don't know what that was, but whatever. Oh, sliding right back in the ring. Get him, Sammy. Oh, didn't mean you do that. Right? Yeah. Now, the one good thing about this whole angle on TV is that Sammy's actually getting a main event push. That's the only good thing. Sammy, oh, the swanton. Oh, Exploder Suplex. Shane's getting decimated. This is so one-sided. Oh, Nate is not doing anything to help. So, that's no good. Oh, a Moonsault. But Shane... Don't know what Shane's... Shane's trying to tackle him. And Oh, look, those, those punches. The worst punches in the history of our sport. Oh, Shane did a flipperoo. It's about to pin uh, Sammy, but Kevin Owens out of nowhere. Ugh. Oh, pff. way to go, Shane. Gonna do something cool. You're gonna see. All right. Three, two, one. Oh, double DT. All right. Styles, please help me. Come on, reach. And now what? What the heck? You're just going to ditch me? Yep. Why? Because I heard your conversation with Vince. That was just a dumb conversation. I wasn't going to win the belts. Totally was. Wait a minute. Oh, so... <laughs> well, oh... Styles is completely turned on Shane. He's leaving him to fend for himself. Ugh. Ugh. Well, stupid Shane. Not selling anything. Alright, Sammy. Do your thing. Alright. Oh! Sliding right off of Shane. Oh, a power bomb. I guess it doesn't matter who's legal. Because, you know, who cares? Oh, a Huluva kick. An Exploder Suplex. Cover. One, two, three. Shane's definitely not getting that title shot now. So Owens and Zane win. Shane. Look, I've been nice to you. So long. Even after our WrestleMania match. But, I'm done. I'm done with you, and Vince, and Stephanie, anyone named McMahon. Oh, Styles has snapped. Heel turn, or is it really a heel turn? Because Styles has a point. McMahon's are, Shane's been a thorn in everybody's side. Oh, oh. So actually, I actually don't blame AJ 
for this. Oh. Oh. Way to go, AJ. Shut up. It's hard to do this right. Oh, got him. What's AJ doing? Styles clash straight up. Like, no, no wait time or anything. And a phenomenal forearm. And a Pele kick. And even more Pele kicks. Yo, Styles. Listen. I know we're enemies. We're not enemies anymore. Really? I want to join. I want to make an alliance. No. Styles, don't do an alliance. Remember what happened last time all those years ago? No. New alliance. Now I'm leader. What's this alliance going to be about? It'll be anti-McMahon. Well, considering what McMahon did to me in my Universal title reign. I'm down for that. Considering that he never gave me a fair shot after beating Owens at Battleground uh, in 2016. I got nothing after that. So yeah, I'm definitely anti-McMahon. Alright. I guess we are the founding fathers of Team Anti-McMahon. So. Wow. What the heck? You're just ripping off the alliance with WCW and ECW. This isn't about brands or dead brands. This is about us finally getting rid of you. You and your prophetic, wasteful, just terrible family. And the sooner we do that, the better the show will become. So... Wait a minute, doesn't this fly in the fact that you were in a mega feud with Owens and Zayn caused you to find a match? Oh, about that. Styles, you know we had our differences? I respect you more as a performer than ever after that best of seven series. So, yeah. We're good. We're good. Also, I'm sorry for, uh, uh, interfering. I do it for my best friend. And what not. I understand, Sammy. I mean, I do it for my best friend, too. So, yeah. Team Anti-McMahon. What's the next review? Well, I don't even know what to say after what you did. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm gonna have to check for a second. So, hold on for a minute. Alright, guys. Found out about what are you guys doing? About to finish him. What's the movie? It's Fast and Furious 6. Which one? Was that one with The Rock? That was 5 through 8. Was it the one when they fell off a plane? No, that was 7. Oh, I know. The one where they fought uh, a submarine. That was 8. I got that. It's the one where, uh, cried. <laughs> Can't really think. Um, uh, the one where Gal Gadot dies. Oh, that one. No one really talks about it because everyone remembers five, seven, eight. No one remembers talks about six because it's, it's all right, but it's kind of forgettable. So now we're gonna deal with Shane. What are you going to do? Are you going to kidnap him? If that means giving us more airtime, yes, we will kidnap him. Actually, no, nah, that's too dumb. Vince did it once. It didn't work. Well, actually, it was Undertaker and Vince. It was real dumb. So let's just launch him in the air. And he's dead. So Vince, first shot has been fired. Your move. Make sure to subscribe, like this video, leave a comment. We'll see y'all next time. And we are... The Revolution.